Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the center of gravity method for location selection. This question corresponds to problem 8.21 in your text. In this problem, we have a chain of healthcare firms in Ontario that needs to locate a central office from which to conduct internal audits and other reviews of its facilities. And the facilities are scattered throughout the province, as identified in the table below, from cities ranging from Oshawa, Richmond Hill, through Guelph, Waterloo, and Sudbury. Now, each site, except for Toronto, will be visited three times each year by a team of workers who will drive from the central office to the site. Toronto, however, will be visited five times a year. The requirement is simply to determine which coordinates represent a good central location for the office and for us to think about what other factors might influence the office location decision and where we might place the office. So in the table we have eight cities, each with an X and Y map coordinate. So Oshawa would be at 9.2, 3.5, Richmond Hill 7.3, 2.5, etc. In this third column here, I've identified the number of visits each gets. So you can see that all the locations except for Toronto get three visits identified in green and Toronto receives five visits per year. And that sums up to a total of 26 visits per year. So to use the center of gravity method, all we have to do is determine a weighted X and weighted Y coordinate. So what we'll do is determine the weighted X coordinates for all locations first. And we do that by taking the X coordinate, so for Oshawa 9.2, and we multiply by the number of visits. So 9.2 times 3 is 27.6. Richmond Hill will take 7.3 times 3, 21.9. Toronto, 7.8 times 5 visits is 39, etc. We'll do that for all of the cities. And when we sum all of those x-weighted coordinates up, that equals a total of 154.8. And then what we do is we divide by the sum of the visits, the 26. So 154.8 divided by 26 gives us an x-coordinate of 5.95. Now we'll do exactly the same thing for the y-coordinate. For Oshawa, we'll take 3.5 times 3 to give us 10.5. Richmond Hill, 2.5 times 3 for 7.5. Toronto, 1.4 times 5 for 7. And then all the rest, 3 visits times the respective y-coordinate. The sum of the weighted coordinates equals 113.2. And then we divide by the 26 visits. And that gives us a y coordinate of 4.35. So therefore the optimal location would be at 5.95 comma 4.35 x and y. Now a company wouldn't just go and put in a location right at, that, right at those exact coordinates. There are other factors to, to consider such as geographical impediments like uh, bridges, rivers, lakes, schools, things like that. A company might want to consider access to highways, so if it wants to have good access for its workers, then it might not locate directly in the center of a town or another city or something. Uh, we'd also consider costs and zoning, etc. So where this office would go would best be done by overlaying a grid over the map of the area, identifying all the locations, identifying where the optimal location is, and then looking at the map to determine where the best site would be factoring in the optimal location along with other considerations. And that's how you use the center of gravity method.